Rihanna reacts to Kim Kardashian stealing from her to save skims. It really feels like a lot's happening. It, it can get uncomfortable at times, so you, you know. You did you know that every time Rihanna steps out, she sets a new trend, a first standard for the world to follow, but it seems like some of the most high-profile celebrities can't resist copying these trends, maybe to stay in the limelight or to keep up with the competition. And yes, you guessed it right, we're talking about none other than the reality TV star Kim Kardashian. I mean, I know that when they see the pieces, they're gonna die. Welcome to our dive into the world of celebrity drama, where we unveil the constant tug of war between trendsetters and those who, let's say, get a little too inspired. Today's whole topic involves two high-profile celebrities, Rihanna, the queen of the music industry, beauty world, and undeniable fashion icon. Oh, killing me not to say it. And Kim Kardashian, a reality TV star known for her entrepreneurial prowess and controversial fashion choices. Lately, fans have noticed some striking resemblances between Kim's and Rihanna's outfits, beauty brand marketing strategies, and even their choices of models. From made gala outfits to beauty products launches, Kim seems to be closely mirroring Rihanna's steps, which had led to a flurry of fans, theories, speculations, and a barrage of accusations against Kim Kardashian for her stringingly similar moves. People are just waiting for you to make a mistake just to point it out. But the real question here is, how does Rihanna feel about this? Right? I don't want to be on this thing. And is Kim really drawing inspiration from Rihanna's iconic style? Or is it all just a series of coincidences? Let's dive deep into this ocean of speculations, controversy, and fandom frenzy to find out more. Okay, let's roll. Rihanna is one of the established singers in the music industry. Other than her music career, she's also known for rocking iconic and unique outfits. She's also the founder of the makeup brand Fenty Beauty and Fenty Skin. Fans have not been reluctant to compare the two celebrities on so many occasions and have not been hesitant to call out Kim Kardashian for copying everything Rihanna does. I always have, I've always loved it. Rihanna has always used every opportunity she got to market her business and show it to the world. During her Super Bowl performance, Rihanna didn't miss an opportunity to elevate her beauty brand Fenty Beauty. Singer and beauty mogul Rihanna had a Fenty Beauty touch-up moment during her Super Bowl halftime show that earned $5 in media impact value. And some of these surprises are going to blow their minds. Oh. But surprisingly, Kim Kardashian pulled out the same move to try and market her Skims Shape Wear brand. Hold on one sec. Is Kim wearing Skims to the Met Gala? The mother of four appeared on Met Gala red carpet with a Skims closet underneath a Chiparelli gown that is draping in pearls. Fans made speculations that she was trying to sell her Skims brand the way Rihanna made crazy sales after her quick touch-up using Fenty Beauty at the Super Bowl. And I saw this and I thought, you know what, maybe I'd be mad about it. So her sales are probably going to go through the roof. A fan commented, Kim is so obsessed. The other one commented, Kim is the photocopy. Fans have restlessly compared the cosmetic companies owned by the two celebrities. Ever since Kim Kardashian launched KKW Beauty, it has always been compared to Rihanna's Fenty Beauty. In 2019, Kim Kardashian posted a Twitter video of a model with gap teeth applying the gloss on her lips while launching her latest KKW Beauty products, her ultra light beams light gloss in peach. Fans immediately compared the video to a Fenty Beauty commercial from December featuring the brand signature model Sleekwoods who also has a gap in her teeth. Fans threw shade at Kim Kardashian for using a model that looks like Rihanna's fainty model. One fan said, why y'all keep copying Rihanna? The other one said, you really are a Rihanna and a fainty beauty copy and paste. You went out and got yourself a Sleekwoods too? Well, it seems Kim Kardashian has really had it rough with Rihanna's fans over the years, they are always very keen to expose most of her copycat moves. In June of 2018, still, Kim Kardashian attended the CFDA award ceremony wearing an off-white body-hugging dress, separating ensemble while flaunting her abs and back. 
The reality TV star's outfit was designed by Rick Owens. Just hopeful. Have you Just had hopeful. contact with her? Immediately, she was called out by fans for imitating Rihanna's Met Gala outfit. A fan said they could never be on the same level as Rihanna. According to the insiders, Skims is declining and that might be the reason why Kim Kardashian has been trying to copy Rihanna's brand. Skims customers have made negative comments that have ruined the brand image. Hi, I'm here to return this bodysuit I bought almost three months ago. It has a rip. One customer wrote, I ordered two items from Skims and saw in my tracking that my items were reported damaged. I've been emailing Skims but they are ignoring my emails to fix the issue. I hope they can help me with this issue. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Fans that are always buying from the brand urge with clear evidence that the quality of the Skims shapewear has also contributed to the decline in the brand. Very, very very small look at the little nalgitas like one customer wrote the problem with skims is that they spent so much time creating new collections that they probably failed to increase the quality of the core of the brand which is the shapewear another replied exactly the downfall of the car generous businesses is always quantity over quality not leaving out the fact that we have been getting reports that skims poor branding might as well be the cause of its downfall one customer said they have way too many Launches. They should do seasonal collections or new stuff every few months, like Ivy Park or other brands. Another said the lack of customer service is a big turn off for me. Fans have also blamed the decline of Skims on Kanye's absence. Kanye West changed Kim Kardashian's entire closet after they started dating in 2012. Kim disclosed that Kanye once sent her an email telling her that she wasn't allowed to wear big sunglasses anymore and that she should start wearing small glasses look what Kanye texts me no white glasses all these house fans talking about Kanye must have been a mastermind in the skims design and their divorce might have also contributed to the decline of skims in 2017 Kim Kardashian launched slides that were part of the mother of two's line with Akid Kim posted another Akid collab with nude Fox for slides a fan commented mm, those look kind of familiar another fan posted a video of Fenty Sanders while bringing out the Simura with the Sanders Kim Kardashian had earlier posted. Fans threw backlash at Kim Kardashian for copying Fenty Sanders when they noticed a significant resemblance between hers with Rihanna's Fenty and Puma slides. Fans have made speculations that Kim Kardashian has a history of copying fashion from many celebrities while dragging her that she can never be authentic with her style. Let's move on. I would everyone knows, I think. In 2022, Kim Kardashian made an appearance at the Met Gala wearing Marilyn's iconic gold dress worth $5 million. The piece which made her lose 16 pounds to fit into is so famous because it is the dress that Marilyn wore when she sang Happy Birthday Mr. President for John F. Kenny at Madison Square Garden in 1962. More important than this dress. Be very careful. Mm -hmm. The dress is now kept at Ripley's Believe or Not in Orlando, Florida. Fans were quick to notice that Kim Kardashian also dyed her hair platinum blonde in tribute to Marilyn. Another celebrity whose style Kim Kardashian copied is Naomi Campbell. Model Naomi Campbell is shading Kim Kardashian's latest Vogue cover. Many are siding with Naomi and slamming Kim for uh, copying some of Naomi's most iconic looks during the cover shoot. The reality TV star Kim Kardashian wore a vintage Versace gown that Naomi Campbell had previously worn on the runaway in 1998 while attending a premiere of the cheer show on Broadway in 2018, making it extraordinary and unique that the metallic dress still looks as good in modern times as it did in the late 90s. The British supermodel Naomi Campbell had also reworn the dress in 2015 on the red carpet of the Fragrance Foundation's Awards Bash.
Kim Kardashian also copied another outfit from Naomi Campbell. Naomi introduced an outfit on the runaway. It was a cut suit and beret combo by 80s icon Aleya. Kim Kardashian fashionably wore the same sexy black leopard print number in 2019 for an Instagram photo shoot. The reality star Kim Kardashian also got a style inspiration from Helena Christensen. Kim turned up in a bondage-inspired dress at a Met Gala after party in 2018, the same garment that Helena wore as she walked the runway for Versace in 1992. Kim Kardashian made reference to Elena Christensen after her inspiration. Kim Kardashian went ahead to state the exact same piece from Donatella Versace that gave Elena her career-defining moment. Wow, the fans have not only dragged Kim Kardashian for stealing design ideas, but have gone ahead to also drag her sisters for the lack of authenticity. A fan once said, if Rihanna and Beyonce left the fashion scene, the Kardashians would be absolutely lost when it comes to style, lol. In 2017, Kim Kardashian and her sister Kourtney Kardashian were in search of a style and they ended up looking to the music world for their coordinated Halloween outfits. The two Kim and Courtney transformed into replicas of Michael Jackson and Madonna at their legendary 1991 Oscars appearance. Kylie Jenner, who is the youngest sibling of the Kardashian Jenner clan, is also known for stealing style ideas from other celebrities just like her big sister. Fans have recently started noticing a trend between the two celebrities that most of the iconic outfits of Kylie Jenner are nothing more than a mere copy of Rihanna's outfit. Outfit. According to sources, many of the outfits of Kylie Jenner have been inspired by the singer, with fans saying, whatever Rihanna wears first is soon followed by Kylie Jenner wearing a different variation of the original outfit. When Kylie Jenner copied Rihanna's in sheer leopard cut suit, a fan commented, Rihanna looks better, no line through the middle. A fan said, Kylie is obsessed with her in a creepy way and it's bothersome. She needs to realize that she isn't and won't ever be Queen Riri. Fans were quick to make speculations that Kylie Jenner dated Travis Scott because he had dated Rihanna. Travis Scott and Rihanna had a short-lived romantic relationship in 2015 which came to an end as it reportedly came too much for both of them. They were first seen hanging out together at New York Fashion Week in 2015. Kylie Jenner and Travis Scott who are parents began dating in April 2017. Kylie Jenner and Travis Scott welcomed their first child, a baby girl named Stormy. Less than a year after first sparking rumors of a romance, they now have a son named Ari Webster who is one year old. A fan said, I said this when Kylie got with Travis. My co-worker who was obsessed with the car Jenners was asking me why Kylie was with Travis because he's not attractive and I told her they're always trying to show the public their own on the same level as Rihanna. A fan said, Rihanna is a leader and a queen. Everything Rihanna does sets a new standard for others to follow. Rihanna also has been in makeup since a young girl. The Kardashians hate that. Hate that Rihanna sends a high standard in everything she does and no matter what they do, the Kardashian, they just cannot keep up. Her body is real. Her beauty is real. Rihanna and her mother are real. No hate to anybody, but everybody knows this, Rihanna is queen of the industry. In conclusion, it is fascinating to debate whether the Kardashians are copying Rihanna's ideas. This shows the complex world of celebrity influence. Remember, share your thoughts below, subscribe and like for more content. Until next time, bye!